Welcome to Windows 10. As you've just been upgraded from either Windows 7 or Windows 8, you're going to notice stuff looks a little bit different. But keep in mind, the fundamentals are the same. In Windows 10, everything is exactly the same as far as minimizing, maximizing, and closing an application. If you look in the top right, you will still see a minimize, a restore, and an X. That has not changed. On the bottom, we still have the taskbar. It's in the same spot it's always been since Windows 95. Sure, it's a different color, but it's still the taskbar. On the bottom here, we have all your pinned icons. The blue E is the new web browser built into Windows 10 called Microsoft Edge. Although, if you had another web browser installed like Chrome, it's there too. And when you click it, it operates the exact same way it did in Windows 7 or Windows 8. No change there. In the bottom right, we have the time. But unlike in Windows 7 or Windows 8, when you click the time once, you now get a beautiful display of the time and the calendar. I think it looks nice. Next to that, we have what they call notifications. When you click that once, it lets you know your notifications. Um, I wouldn't worry about too much of what's in here. Uh, like for instance, virus threat, Windows Defender Summary. It does a scan every once in a while. It kind of lets you know what it found in the, in the uh, notifications. You can just hit the X and take stuff out of here. For instance, a stock, eh, it's down. You can hit the X to close it out. So now my notifications are empty. As new notifications become available, you will see a little number on the notification icon. Moving to the left, we have a volume icon. Let's you adjust the volume up and down. Next to that is the network icon. Depending on what you're connected to, that icon will be different. If you're connected to the Wi-Fi, it looks like that. And if you click it once, this is the list of all your Wi-Fi uh, networks. So for instance, if you want to connect to this one, you click it and click on connect. There we go. And it's connected. Now let me go ahead and plug in the ethernet to kind of show you what that icon looks like. So if you're connected to the internet via a cable, there we go, that icon from Wi-Fi will then change to a computer with a plug in the top of it. That means you're connected over ethernet. So let's go to the bottom left corner of the screen. In the bottom left, we have a search bar. That lets you search for stuff either on your computer or on the internet. So for instance, let's say you're craving a little bit of old Internet Explorer. And you're kind of wondering where it's at. You can type in Internet Explorer. And if you click it, it opens up. But let's say you want to do an internet search instead. Let's say you want to find out the cast of the movie as good as it gets. You simply click in this box and type cast of as good as it gets. Now it will either search on the side next to it, or if you press enter, it'll open up Microsoft Edge and do a search that way too. Now let's say you don't want the search box there. You're like, eh, I don't like it. On this black bar, you can right click it, search. You can either turn that search bar into a single icon. In the bottom left icon, if you click it, the search bar, you now have the search. Or if you want to get rid of it altogether, just click search, hidden. In the bottom left, the far bottom left, is what they call the Start button. That hasn't changed since Windows 95. In fact, they call it the Start button because in Windows 95, it literally said Start. Since then, it's just an icon. But everybody refers to it as the Start button. The Start button is a list of all of your applications, except this time, it scrolls vertically. Alphabetized A to Z. On the right-hand side, we have pre-installed Windows 10 icons or stuff you've pinned there yourself. Now, by pinned, I mean, let's go ahead and say we want Internet Explorer 
pinned to the right side of the Start menu. They don't really tell you this, but in this box you can search. So let's just start typing Internet Explorer. Now, if you right-click Internet Explorer, you'll have three options, or you have two options. Well, pin to Start, which puts a square on the right side of the Start menu, or pin to the taskbar, which puts an icon on the bottom of the screen. For this demonstration, let's do both. Pin to taskbar, there it is. Right-click, pin to start, and there it is. Now, if you don't like it where it's at, you can kind of move it around. Just drag it with the left mouse button, and go bloop, there it is. Now, if you don't want that icon, or you don't want other icons, you can unpin them. So, for instance, if we don't want this icon, we can right-click, we can either uninstall it, or we can unpin from the start. There it is. Same thing goes for the bottom. If you don't want Internet Explorer there, you can right-click and unpin from the taskbar. They've been moving some stuff out of the control panel into what they call settings. Let me show you where that's at. If you click on Start, right above the Start button, you're going to have the power. This lets you turn the computer on, turn it off, or put it to sleep. You click it once, and you're going to have Restart, Shutdown, and Sleep. Above the Start menu, you're going to have a gear. That is Settings. Now, I'm not going to go through all these, but I'm just going to let you know that here is where Settings is at. Like, for instance, System lets you control the sound, the display, power and sleep, storage. You can go in here and explore. I just wanted to let you know where it was at. Let's take a look at Windows Updates. Windows Updates used to be in Control Panel under Windows Update or by clicking Start, searching for Windows Updates. In Windows 10, you open Settings and go down to Update and Security. And from here, you can check for updates. Now, I just did updates, so it's not going to find any. I'm going to go ahead and hit the X and close it. If, like some people, you like the good old-fashioned control panel, you can find it by either clicking on the search box, let's go ahead and bring that back, down here, or clicking on Start and typing the word Control. Up on top, we have Control Panel, and here's the good old-fashioned control panel, just like it was in Windows 7 and Windows 8. On the bottom of the computer screen, we have the Manila Envelope. If you click that, this shows you recent files. This also gives you access to documents, downloads, uh, pictures, music, and videos. Now, my computer is along the left-hand side, and it's called this PC. Now, some people like it, if you click on the Manila envelope, to be taken directly here, just like you clicked on Start on Windows 7 and Computer. To change the default, you simply go up to View, choose Options, and Open File Explorer, set that to this PC. Now, when you hit OK, hit the X, and click on the Manila envelope, you now have the equivalent of either my computer in Windows XP or computer in Windows 7. If you right-click on the main desktop, you then still have Personalize, which lets you set the theme in the wallpaper. You also have Display Settings, which lets you change the resolution of the screen, just like in Windows 7. If you want to uninstall a program in Windows 10, here's how you do it. You simply right-click on the Start menu and select Apps and Features. This lets you uninstall both regular applications and apps specifically built for Windows 10, like, for instance, Candy Crush Friends. Simply click it, uninstall. Once finished, the app will disappear from the list. Now in Windows 10 comes something called the Microsoft Store, which lets you download other Windows 10 applications. So it shows up as a white bag on the bottom of the screen, or you can just do a search for the word store. 
and click it. And here you can do a search for games, apps, all sorts of stuff. Like for instance, if you want to download this game, you simply click it and then click Get. There's applications too, that was just one example. You get apps and games exactly the same way. Well, that's pretty much it to give you a tour of what has changed in Windows 10. Just remember, even though it looks different, the fundamentals are the same. Thank you. Enjoy.